So hello boys, how's it going? Welcome to a new episode with our Seattle Kraken. Today might be the day we have to get rid of Spencer Knight. It's unfortunate he won two Stanley Cups with us. But um, in all honesty at this moment, based on uh, how has he done the last few years, I don't think he's done great. 896 last year, yeah. So since year one, 911, and then it went to 902. Stayed at 902. <coughs> his GAA got better, and then his GAA just plummeted. Nair and Griba in exchange for Calvin DeHaan, Spencer Knight, and two thirds. The value is there whatsoever. We will also give you a second if you want our next year's. We will give you our. Okay, you want our, this year's. You want Anaheim's? I'd rather give up our next year pick because it's ours. I will heavily overpay for this. No. Okay, so we are not going to end up trading Spencer Knight until at least the trade deadline. But if we start to t uh, drop uh, in record, essentially, um, we will consider moving him <clears throat> to a Western Conference team. Uh, we signed Brad Lambert to 2.5, I believe, for eight years. Ospichuk, <clears throat> Raddy, we got on eight years. Uh, I did all those just before I started the episode. So... Fourth and a fifth plus Evgeny Kuznetsov for a second and a fourth. I'd, so you just want to trade a fifth for a second and give me an AHL top six forward. That, that doesn't sound very feasible to me. Um, so we look like we're going to be a pretty dominant team. Never mind. Uh, please designate your rosters before then. Otherwise, uh, so I do believe we need to sign an AHL team. Uh, let me take a look. At our AHL squad. So. Yes, we need 12 forwards. We need four defensemen. And that is about it. Okay, so we're going to sign our 12 forwards. Um, sort by overall. There you go. So they're one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here is 13, and then we're going to go to defenseman. Uh, defenseman, we'll just sign four of these guys. One. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. So, two. We'll go for Ruse. Three. Four. That's going to have to do, boys, for our HL management, but they have a game today, too. They're likely going to lose these two. Uh, let's get through month number one, and then we will assess the situation. Only two guys accept on day one. There's the rest of them. Uh, Texier and Shaw for Vandeveld, a third, and another third, and Morelli. Uh, no thanks. We're going to pass on that. We're not really buying out for this season. We might at the trade deadline, though. We will have to see. Start up 4-1. Um, seems like we're getting less games in the first month every year. It's pretty funny, but 4-2 and two is our first, first month record. Uh, not, big enough, not a big enough sample size, so let's get up to month number 3. So here's the second full month. Uh, we're winning games, shootout loss, Pavel Zakin got debt for Vandeveld, a second, a second, and a third. Um, okay, we are 13, 6, and 1. <sighs> Doing all right, but if Karkner's still in free agency, we're going to make a push for him. Uh, view contracts, if Karkner's still there, I will take a former Con Smythe winner. Free agents... Okay, let me look at that again, because I did not sort by overall. 
um, all. Okay, so Karkner got signed, but by who? Uh, proposed trade. He was on San Jose. Karkner is still... Okay, he's unsignable is what that means. I mean, if we can get Karkner... Do they have any big cap hits? Because we will take a big cap hit on to take him. Mm, nothing major. Three, we'll take all three of those guys. And in exchange, we will give you two, three first round picks and a goalie, Spencer Knight. San Jose would be over the league max cap, but the values are pretty close. I mean, I could realistically do this. I'd still be over the cap. Still be over the cap. Okay, just the absolute max. Okay, boys, we got a big one. Karkner. Uh, for three first, Spencer Knight and Atu Rati. They don't want any of it, but... Yeah, that's that's the best offer we can make as of right now. And I think that about sums it up. Maybe at the trade deadline we can make something work, but um, December 1st, he wouldn't have been able to play all year anyways. They should have taken that deal. Spencer Knight for extra help, if not a trade asset to acquire another defenseman. But I guess Karkner's better bait than uh, Spencer Knight. Spencer Knight is a two-time cup champion, though. Compared to a one, uh, we are 15, 10, and two, uh, two thirds for Essimont and a third. No, thank you. So a four, three win. We gotta start winning hockey games here. So San Jose is heavily depleted after Karkner's exit. So the AHL team is gonna start winning games here. Maybe the NHL team will too. Um, do not know what just happened, but uh, there's an HL squad. Okay, yeah, we, they're 624-2. Okay, they might start winning games now. NHL, 8-2, uh, 9-2 win. My goodness. That is a batch of big wins. We are now 23-13-2. Leon Mugley's available to play in the team's next game. There's a 2-0 win. And the boys are starting to come alive, and then we lose 9-1. You love to see it. Nashville, eight to three loss. So our losses have been massive recently. Um, not too sure what to say. Stamp goes out till February thirteenth. Thirty-one, sixteen, and two. Let's take a look at our point leaders. McCarr with sixty-four. My goodness, he might be able to hit a point a game, but even before the trade deadline, uh, we're going to get up to this Pittsburgh game, and we will consider uh, uh, a few moves. Potentially, I'm not too sure though if uh, we're gonna really do much. Spencer Knight is number one on our list to get rid of. Um, Delandria, so a four to three shootout win, um, four to three out overtime win. Let's get it, boys. Five nothing. Let's see if we can hit 40 wins before the trade deadline. Uh, we cannot. Oh, so my trade block is going to now have goalie Spencer Knight on it. That might send in some trades, but we'll have to see. First period, three to one, three to two, and it's four to four. Pittsburgh ends up winning that one, but we get a point out of it, so that's really not the worst outcome in the world. Could have lost in regulation. But we also could have won. Let's take that one with a grain of salt. Uh, I'm going to look around the league, and I will get back to you guys in a sec. So if we can get a player of Roman Yossi's caliber at 92 overall, I don't care if he's 37, okay? This is giving um, Makara D partner. Uh, actually, I don't really want... No. 
Okay, I was considering making a trade here for Roman Yossi. If it means we get Yossi for this package, I'll do it. But if it's anything more... Okay, so the value isn't there whatsoever. Um, we can just wait on it then and hope that Yossi doesn't sign there. Uh, potentially pick him up in the offseason. But our first rule on... Well, our first... It, I, First item on the agenda, my goodness, um, will be to see if there's any more deals for Spencer Knight, and then after that we can continue moving forward. So Spencer Knight, still the same two deals, Dano a third, and Hinnestroza, so we can get more for him now. We take on Dano, maybe trade him off. It's a good chunk of value. No and Hinnestroza plus a third round pick. If you take those two out and add a first or a second. So you add a Toronto Maple Leaf second and a Vegas third from next year. Would that go through? Because if we can pick up Philip Dano, he will definitely you know, get rid of those two. Okay. All skaters will also give you Brad Marshall if you want him. And in exchange, we'll take off Marshawn's cap hit, just because Marshawn is being replaced here. I will eat up as much as you need me to. Spencer Knight and Marshawn for Philip Deneau and a first round pick. So if we can trade that Anaheim second, maybe. And then we will also offer one more second. Two seconds, Marshawn and Knight for... Uh, yeah, I'm not paying much more than that. But yeah, let's get into the trade deadline, see if there's any offers. Um, i just seen that Kale McCarr has 85 points in his 62 games this year. That is absolutely elite. Let's uh, get into this. We are going to be buyers, and I'll let you guys know if anything happens. So the first trade to highlight, Hamilton and Shea plus Vinny to St. Louis in exchange for Tristan Jari and a 2029 third. Uh, top 10 players, no one looks too interesting to me. Um, Going to look through, see if there's any prospects down here. Medium starter. A few 26-year-olds, see if there's any young guys here. Not too sure if we're going to have much luck here with prospects. So, um, yeah, I looked around. There's really nothing, in my opinion, that we can even consider to go for. But Seattle, a first and a second for Barabanov. Now, Barabanov, it's $7 million for the next two years. That is a perfect window of opportunity. If you guys take Marshawn and, oh, yeah, if we can get Marshawn and Spencer Knight, then that looks a lot better. Marshawn and Knight, then our offense will be... One, two, three, Barabanov, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Pachuk will then be our 13th. So let's go with that. We'll see if uh, that is going to do Marchand plus goalie uh, Spencer Knight. So they want Knight. I'd, I'd do that. This gives us a forward... Not getting paid much more than Marshawn. Freeze up our cap hit. Strom, Rust, Lozen. No, I do not want that. I want to go back to my trade. What just happened? Okay, there we go. So Marshawn and Knight for Barabanov and a third round pick. Will they go for that? Take a third next year. Trade rejected. Take out the third out of fourth. 
Take out that fourth, add in a seventh or a sixth. And we'll just offer it straight up. Trade rejected. So we're, we're going to sit on Spencer Knight if we need someone to lean on in the postseason. Um, he'll be our guy, but I'm sure Daigle is doing just fine, especially with our current record and how the squad is looking. Spencer Knight in the postseason. Travis Sandheim, Kirby Doc, a fourth and Atkinson for two firsts and Lind. That is quite a return. Faraby and Vladar for a first, a third, Green Tree and Blair. Middlestad and Texier for two firsts and height. Uh, OEL. One year left at 77 overall. No thanks. Um, there we are. Let's get through the rest of this year and then we can finally get into our postseason and take a look at the stats. We're going to look at the stats before the end of this video, too. Uh, I'm going to start looking at the stats before we get into the postseason. So you guys aren't sitting there wondering what is going on. Uh, we start out with four, five losses in a row. Make that six because of the Pittsburgh one. There we go. There's a win, but oh my goodness. I don't think we're going to fall out of the playoffs, but that is quite a steep decline in production. We're starting to pick it back up, though. Three wins in a row. There's four, five. There's a loss and a win. So we've won six of our last seven, six of our last eight, seven of our last nine, eight of our last ten, uh, nine of our last twelve games we won. So that there's a positive. Uh, Forty-nine wins. We didn't do two. I think we we pretty much matched our um, point total from last year. But Kale McCarr with a hundred and seven points. Steven Stamkos missed two games, but he still put up 100. Uh, Forsberg with 92, Bertuzzi with 72, and it goes on from there. A minus, a plus 23 from Hannafin. Good for you. Goaltenders, Daigle, struggling as the starter, but he won games. That is good to note. Team plays better with Daigle in net. Interesting to note. Um, let's take a look at the leading point scores in the league. I don't think Kale McCarr won, but we'll see. Our league, Kill McCarr was third, two points away. That would have been sick. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any suggestions down in the comment section. We will see you guys in the next video with our Seattle Kraken. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and peace.